Hi everybody, my name's Matt Day, and I am thankful to be your entertainer for the next 45 minutes or so. Uh, I want to thank the, the folks at Optima Living for allowing me to be part of your New Year's celebration today. And I thought we'd just sort of set the, the uh, theme with um, what I really hope for the New Year, and that is that it's going to be a wonderful world. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I think to myself, what a wonderful world. And I know that 2021 is going to be a much better year than 2020 was. But I'm thankful for the, for the technology that we have that we can at least do things virtually and give you some entertainment virtually. But my hope is that we would have a wonderful world in 2021. But that doesn't change the fact that this has been a Christmas season and a holiday season that is always filled with, well, if you're from Alberta, it's always filled with snow. So I want to start and get us in a bit of a Christmas mood with a song that is all about a winter wonderland. Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? Down the lane, snow is glistening. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight. We're walking in a winter wonderland. Gone away is the bluebird. Here to stay is the new bird. He sings a love song as we go along. We're walking in a winter wonderland. In the meadow, we will build a snowman and pretend that he is Parson Brown. Say, are you married? We'll say no, man. But you can do the job when you're in town. Later on, we'll conspire as we dream by the fire. To face unafraid the choices we made. Walking in a winter wonderland. To face unafraid those plans that we made. Walking in a winter wonderland. I don't know if it was a winter wonderland for you this year, but uh, it certainly was at the beginning of the season for us uh, here in Edmonton. And my friend Tracy wrote a funny little song. Tracy works for Global Television. You sometimes see her doing the traffic. And because she does the traffic really well, she understands the problems in Edmonton and Alberta during the winter. Western Canada, let's just face it, like all over the place, we've got cold and we've got snow and we've got ice. And we as Edmonton and Alberta and Canada drivers, we gotta figure this out even if the roads are icy. So she took a Christmas carol and she changed the words. And it sounds like this. I think she did a great job. Driving on the roads, icy as can be. Fishtailed down the lane and almost hit a tree. Snow tires don't work well when they haven't paved the snow. It dumped five feet this morning with 50 more to go. Icy roads, Edmonton, Anthony Henday. All the way to work and back, it's another freezing day. Potholes suck, sideswipe the truck, this really is absurd. I guess that's just what happens when you ride your bike to work. I guess that's just what happens when you ride your bike to work. I've got lots of friends who ride their bicycles in the wintertime and I don't know how they do it because it's so icy out there. I have a trouble enough when I go for my runs just staying upright when it's always snowy and icy like that. But here's one of the problems that I find in the winter more than just about anything. It involves my car and it involves that cord that keeps the block heater hot all winter long. Have a look at this and tell me if you've ever done this before. Here's a song for all you guys who go out of your way to make sure that your women stay warm these cold Canadian winters. It looks like you've done it again As I watch you drive down the lane Come back and bring back the thing That kept the cold away I plug it in to keep it warm Lucky to go. 
hard about unplugging the car before you leave for work in the morning, baby. Even wrap it around the driver's side mirror like 200 times or something, baby, before you leave. Well, I think at some point in our life, we've all done that. And I even take my cords sometimes and they get wrapped in my snowblower. And I, every year, I probably lose two or three on the road and at least one in the snowblower. So I keep the uh, electrical cord companies in business for sure. Again, thank you to Optima Living for having me as part of your New Year's celebration today. If you're just joining us, my name is Matt Day. I'm a piano player here in Alberta. And uh, I just wanted to have a little bit of fun with you today and uh, do some songs that hopefully will give us uh, a really good kind of mood for the new year coming up. But first of all, I brought my Jingle Bell today, and I just sang a song parody about Jingle Bells. So I thought what I'd do is sing Jingle Bells with you, and maybe if you have your car keys or something, you can shake them along. Car keys work really well if you don't have a bell. So if ever in a situation where you need a bell, use your car keys, and they jingle just fine. So let's see how we do. I think we all know the lyrics to this one. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh O'er the fields we go Laughing all the way, bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. I don't know if that's the exact ending to Jingle Bells that you're used to, but, uh, and I don't know if you've ever been on a one-horse open sleigh before. I've been on a two or three-horse open sleigh, but the one-horse open sleigh, too small for me. You know, one of the things that I remember growing up was the Charlie Brown Christmas uh, series that would always come on, that special that would come on generally about a week or so before Christmas. We had CBC television, and so every year they would show that, and they still do. I think you get it on Netflix now. But my kids have watched it. I think you've watched it. Your kids have probably watched it. So I'm going to take us back to Charles Schultz's famous uh, Charlie Brown Christmas special. I'm going to play three songs on the piano as a medley that I think will remind you of that wonderful show with Linus and Lucy and Schroeder and uh, Snoopy and Woodstock and all of the characters, of course, Charlie Brown.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That was, of course, excerpts from the Charlie Brown Christmas, a classic that will, I think, uh, linger on for a long time and uh, put fond memories in the hearts of so many of us. Now, if you're an Elvis fan, you came to the right place. I've got my blue lights on beside my nice warm fireplace, and I'm going to sing you an Elvis song that I'm sure you're going to remember. You know, Elvis uh, recorded over 800 songs, but he never wrote one of them. Now, this song is called Blue Christmas, and it was written by, I think, someone named Johnson is their last name. And they did quite well, but I love singing Elvis songs, and I hope you enjoy this. I love, I have a blue a Christmas without you. I'll be so blue just thinking about you decorations are red on the green christmas tree won't be the same dear if you're not here with me and when those blue snowflakes start falling that's when those blue memories start calling you'll be doing all right with your christmas of white but i'll have a blue start falling that's when those blue memories start calling you'll be doing all right with your christmas of white but i'll have a blue blue christmas yes you'll be doing all right with your christmas of white I'll have a blue, blue, blue Christmas. Wise men say only fools are a shin. But I can't help falling in love. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky, are also on the faces of people walking by. I see friends shaking hands, singing, how do you do? They're really saying, I love you. I'll be doing all right with my Christmas of white. But you, you'll have a blue, blue Christmas. Well, I turned it around a little bit and gave Elvis a little bit of positivity at the end with White Christmas. But I like making medleys together, and you see we've got a bit of a theme here with What a Wonderful World in our program today. Because that is really what our hope is for uh, in 2021, that we'd have a great, great 20. 21. Now, some, uh, some unfortunate things happened this year, and one of them was that Kenny Rogers passed away in March. And I don't know about you, but I really liked Kenny Rogers, even growing up as a kid, because I remember him uh, doing songs when I was 10 or 11 years old, like uh, this one. Everyone considered him the coward of the county. He never did a single thing to prove the county wrong. And I always remember that song 
about this little kid who was growing up and was was scared of everything. And I was a little kid. I think like a lot of us, sometimes we were scared of so many so many things. But in that song, the kid got brave and and he became the hero. And I I always thought that was such a great reminder of of what we can accomplish too. And so I always liked the fact that Kenny Rogers was speaking to me. Uh, but one of the songs that I remember him singing a lot was this one. In a bar in Toledo, across from the depot, the bar stool, she took off her ring. I thought I'd get closer, so I walked on over, sat down and asked her her name. When the drinks finally hit her, she said, I'm no quitter. Finally stop living on dreams So here ever after I'm here for the laughter I'm after whatever The other life brings And her name You picked a fine time to leave me, Lucille With four hungry children And a crop in the field I've had some bad times, we've been through some sad times. This time the hurting won't heal. You know what? You picked a fine time to leave me, Lucille. Now, I have a friend who just heard me sing that song uh, a few months ago. I work in a hospital here in Edmonton as well. We do music care, and I sang that song, and she said, no wonder that she left the guy with 400 children. I said, no, it's not 400 children. It was four hungry children. So understandably, 400 children would be a lot, but this was four hungry children in the song. It was the first time she'd ever heard it. But the one Kenny Rogers song, and I want to finish off this little tribute, is uh, a song called The Gambler. And I've got some lyrics I'm going to put up on the screen that you can sing along with me if you'd like to as well. And I'll just sing a short version of this as well, but this is one of his classic songs called The Gambler, and I hope you can sing along and enjoy this with me. On a warm summer's evening On a train bound from nowhere I met up with a gambler We were both too tired to sleep Staring out the window at the darkness, the boredom overtook us, and he began to speak. He said, son, I've made a life out of reading people's faces, knowing what the cards were by the way they held their eyes. So if you don't mind me saying, I can see you're out of aces for a taste of your whiskey. Give you some advice, you've got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, know when to run. You never count your money when you're sitting at the table. There'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's done. You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away. When to run, you never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's done. Well, it was a sad year for country music because Kenny Rogers, I think, meant a lot to us, and he accomplished so much with uh, his career and singing with Dolly Parton as well. They had some great music they brought to us. Now, speaking of great um, music and duos, I have a duo in Edmonton with a violin player. His name is Ryan, and Ryan is one of the greatest violin players I've had a chance to play with. And if you've ever been to the Singing Christmas Tree, if you've been in Edmonton at, at, um, during the Christmas season, Ryan is the person that uh, hires all of the strings for that orchestra. So he's, uh, he's quite accomplished. He's also a very uh, skilled uh, teacher in St. Albert in, um, in a music uh, program there as well. I want you to hear a video that we did about a week ago or so. We recorded some of the music from Christmas. And this is one of the songs that you've heard before that I've already played today from that Charlie Brown Christmas show again. But I wanted you to hear it on the violin and hear how wonderful Ryan is. So this is O Christmas Tree featuring Ryan Herbold on violin. I hope you enjoy this. <laughs>
That was Ryan Herbold on the violin, and I hope you enjoy that. I keep looking down at my microphone here because I can turn it on and off uh, down on the side here, and I had a few shows where I left it off for about 30 seconds, and I was and it wasn't very good. So once in a while, I want to check and just make sure that you're able to hear me. Now, one of the things that I get asked a lot is, um, how, how long do you do Christmas songs for in the Christmas season? Well, if it's Ukrainian Christmas, you're going you're gonna to do it right into January. And so I know that uh, some of my Ukrainian friends will be celebrating in January, and you may be celebrating Ukrainian uh, Christmas as well. So I'm going to do a little medley here of a Christmas song by Bing Crosby, which um, isn't a Ukrainian song, but the next one is. It's called Carol of the Bell. So I'm going to do a little bit of a medley because I want you to hear a little bit of Bing Crosby in my best Bing Crosby imitation. Let's see how I do. like the ones I used to know Where the tree tops glisten And children listen To hear sleigh bells in the snow of a white Christmas With every Christmas card I write May your days be merry and bright And may all your Christmases be white Got my bell back in there for Carol of the Bells. I hope you enjoyed that. That actually was a Ukrainian uh, song, and some people tell me it was a Ukrainian folk song that then eventually was stylized into being a Christmas song. That song is done all over the world in many different languages, sometimes instrumentally as well, by all kinds of orchestras. And uh, we enjoy that every year. It certainly has that Christmas sound to it. Now, before we wrap up today, and I want to do a bit of a sing-along with you uh, in a little bit. And then, of course, we're going to wrap up with a famous New Year's song. I want to play a bit of Name That Tune for you. And I'm not going to sing anything. I'm just going to play some of the melodies and see how you do. Uh, and if you're watching with, the, if there's a couple of you watching, maybe you can have a bit of a competition. If you're watching by yourself, you can just enjoy the songs and just reminisce about maybe the first time you heard those songs or what uh, what you feel when you when you hear those songs. What kind of memories come up with these kinds of songs. So some of them will be Christmas songs and some of them will be uh, golden oldies. So here's a few Name That Tune songs, and then we're going to have a bit of a sing-along. Here's the first song. Que Sera Sera by Doris Day. 
you'd be absolutely correct. And maybe we'll even have that one in the sing-along a little bit later on. Uh, how about this one here? think if it's called Daisy, it's also called Bicycle Built for Two. Either one of those titles would have done well. Maybe uh, I should have had some prizes and we could have sent you some prizes as well. That might be fun to do next time. How about this song here? Irish, you would have known it right away. That, of course, is when Irish eyes are smiling. Uh, let's stay in the UK with this song. If you're from Scotland, that is called Loch Lomond. I've never been to see Loch Lomond before, but I hear it is a beautiful lake or body of water. Uh, in Scotland. Let's do a couple more, and these will be all, I'll do three of them that will be Christmas ones or holiday songs, and I hope you enjoy these and see if you can guess these ones as well. Now that's an interesting song because it's a Christmas song, it's also a song that you'd sing all uh, throughout the year called Green Sleeves, but during the holiday season we would call that What Child Is This? Uh, how about this one here? Joy to the World. And our last one. Feliz Navidad, you'd be absolutely correct. Okay, now that was your uh, music knowledge test. Let's get you singing a little bit. These are some of the uh, best golden oldies of all time. And I got to tell you, I love some of these songs because the melodies are going to stay around forever. Some of the newer music they have today on the, uh, on the radio, it's fine, but it just doesn't have the same melodic structure that these ones did. And I think for the, in the next 50 years, you're going to hear these stay around a long time. So why don't we start by taking a bit of a sentimental journey. I'm going to take a sentimental journey. I'm going to set my heart at ease. I'm going to make a sentimental journey to renew old memories. Got my bag. I've got my reservation Each time I could afford Like a child in wild anticipation Long to hear that all aboard Seven That's the time we leave at seven I'll be waiting up for heaven Counting every mile of railroad track That takes me back I never thought my heart could be so yearning. Why did I decide to roam? Gonna take a sentimental journey. Sentimental journey home. Doris Day, of course, uh, she had so many albums. I think she recorded over 10 albums. She had her own show, and she just passed away about a year ago, I think. But what a lovely uh, addition to the uh, last 50 or 60 years of music was Doris Day. Now, we couldn't uh, do a sing-along without this song, but Bing Crosby recorded a version of You Are My Sunshine, and he did a nice little jazzy version to it. So I'm going to do the Bing Crosby version of this. The other night, dear, as I lay sleeping, I dreamed I had my arms when I awoke dear I was mistaken so I hung 
my head and I cried You are my sunshine My only sunshine You make me happy When skies are gray You'll never know, dear How much I love you Please don't take my sunshine away You are my sunshine My only sunshine You make me happy When skies are gray You'll never know, dear How much I love you Please don't take my sunshine away. So that's Bing Crosby's version. Now, Bing Crosby always would slide up to his notes, and we've got a few more minutes left here uh, in the program. But, you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, do a song by, um, by John Denver. And I hope you can uh, enjoy this song. If you're from, you know, Western Canada, we get a lot of country roads out here. So maybe I should rewrite the words to be uh, more Western Canadian, but right now we'll have to sing about West Virginia. But just imagine you're driving on an old country road here, uh, maybe in Alberta or BC somewhere, and enjoying the ride. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River, life is old. Country roads take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia, Mount Mama. Take me home, country roads, one more time. Country roads take me home to the place I belong. Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home, country road. John Denver, what a great, what a great artist he was, what a great writer. Now he wrote a, he wrote a number of songs. He also wrote a song called Leaving on a Jet Plane. He wrote it while he was in an airport, I think in Washington. And they say he wrote that song in about 30 minutes. He said it was really fast. He said most of his songs didn't come that quickly, but that one came rather fast, and uh, he uh, he wrote it really quick, and it's a great song. That one stuck around a long time. Now I'm going to do another Doris Day song. This one is called Que Sera Sera. I promised you a little bit earlier that we would sing this, so I'm going to put the lyrics back up here on the screen, and uh, enjoy this song. <laughs> I was just a little girl I asked my mother what will I be will I be pretty will I be rich here's what she said to me que sera sera whatever will be will be the future's not ours to see que sera sera what will be, will be. When I grew up and fell in love, I asked my sweetheart, what lies ahead? Will we have rainbows day after day? Here's what my sweetheart said. Que sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Sarah, Sarah, what will be, will be. Que sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Que sera, sera, what will be. Now, when we first um, 
had the news about COVID and we had to do some isolation back in the spring, a lot of people wrote some song parodies. And I, I, didn't write, I didn't write many, but I did write one that I thought was sort of fun. If you like Johnny Cash, uh, watch this video and there's some words. You can sing along to this song. It's my only uh, kind of COVID parody. I hope you enjoy it. And it is a Johnny Cash takeoff from the song Folsom Prison Blues. Words are on the screen. Hope you enjoy this. I hear that strains are coming, will be severed end. I ain't seen my neighbor since. I don't know when. Oh, my house feels like a prison, and time keeps dragging on. But that virus keeps us slowing as long as I stay home. While I'm stuck in isolation, I manage my malaise. Master the Russian language in just 17 days I learn quantum mechanics And build a submarine I'll become a stunning genius While I'm in quarantine Johnny Cash, <laughs> very fun Johnny Cash uh, COVID sort of parody. I hope you enjoyed that and could sing along uh, with that silliness, a little bit of silliness for you. Uh, well, we're going to wrap up uh, in a few minutes here, but I, what I wanted to do is uh, put the words on the screen for the song that I've been singing a little bit of all day. I started with uh, one of the verses and halfway through I sang a little bit more. This is called What a Wonderful World. And this reminds us of the friendships that we have and the connections that we can still make with a phone call, a letter, a text message, an email, talking to somebody down the hall. There's so much that we can still do to make people feel uh, connected and loved during this time. And again, I do want to thank Optima Living for having me here today and being able to spend this New Year's, uh, this New Year's Eve with you. So I hope you enjoy this and do sing along with me. I see trees of green, red roses too, I see them bloom for me and you, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see skies of blue. Clouds of white, the bright blessed day, the dark sacred night, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky, also on a face. Paper wagon by. I see friends shaking hands, saying, How do you do? They're really saying that I love you. I hear babies cry, and I watch them grow. They'll learn much more than I'll ever know. And I think to I think to myself, what a wonderful world. And with that song, I do wish you all the best in 2021. Uh, as we head out, now I'm going to play the most famous uh, New Year's song of all time. And after we're done, uh, there'll be some fireworks on the screen. So I hope you enjoy uh, a little virtual fireworks courtesy of uh, me and um, our little studio here in Edmonton. Again, thank you for having me. And again, I do wish you uh, a very, very happy new year, very prosperous new year. And with this, we'll end. Now back uh, when I was playing uh, in different restaurants, we'd have champagne going off and all kinds of stuff. So however you want to celebrate and sing this with me. Should all 
old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind should all the acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne for old lang syne my dear for old lang syne we'll take a cup of kindness yet for My trusty friend and gives a hand of thine will take a cup of kindness yet for old Lang Syne for old Lang Syne my dear for old Lang Syne will take a cup of kindness yet for old From me to you, Happy New Year, and have a great 2021. Thanks, everybody.